this video, I'm going to show you how to scale text in InDesign. Um, basically, there are two ways you can do this. One is manually, and the other one is mathematically. So let's take a look at the manual way first. So we look at this text that says how to scale type. And what we want is we want this text to be the same width as the margin that it's in. So right now that margin width is 45 packages. So the first thing you want to do, again, this is the manual method. You want to collapse the frame to the text. So what you want to do is you want to put your finger on the Option Command key on the, uh, on the Mac and the Alt Control key on the PC and then hit the letter C. Once you do that, you're going to notice that the frame has been collapsed to the width and height of the text. Next up, you want to grab a corner. Okay, in my case, I'm going to drag. I would I would recommend you grab. I you <laughs> I recommend you grab the lower right hand corner. Put your finger on these two modifier keys: Shift Command on the Mac and Shift Control on the PC. Put your finger on those two those two modifier keys. Click and drag until you pull it out to the margin width. And as you can see, now you have actually uh, scaled the text to that width. All right, next up, I'm going to show you the um, mathematical way. All right, so that is a little more involved, but still, it's pretty easy. Uh, again, you want to collapse the frame to the text. Uh, that, that would be Option Command C on the Mac and Alt Control on Alt Control C on the PC. So you collapse it. Then what you want to do is, and in this case, you want to make sure that your reference point is in the upper left hand corner. And the way you can make sure that you have the reference point in the upper left hand corner is you go up to the control panel, the control strip at the top, and that little thing that looks like your like a Rubik's cube, uh, that's your that's where you can determine your reference point. Make sure your reference point is in the upper left hand corner. Okay. Go over to where you see your percents. All right. Make sure that the, uh, the, the, the uh, constraint option is locked. So this way, whatever numbers you put in there, it will, it will um, scale it proportionately. And in this case, since we know we're going for the width, highlight what says 100%, type in 45 and then the letter P for PICAS, as I am working in PICAS, and then hit the Enter key. And then there you can see it will scale it mathematically. And it doesn't make a difference. I'm working in PICA, but you can work in any um, unit measure. If you type in, say, 40, you type in whatever the measurement is, and you type in IN, that would be inches. You could type in PX, which would be pixels. You can type in PT, which would be point. In other words, I'm in points in PICAs, but you can still scale it in inches or whatever, centimeters, as long as you have the, um, the proper... Um, you know, measurement, unit measure uh, at the end of the number, okay? So uh, that's, the math that's the mathematical way of, of actually scaling uh, type. So hopefully this will help. You could do it either, again, manually or mathematically. In any event, it will quickly uh, give you what you need.